Two minutes for each of you. And we're going to start with Carrots from Spain. Come on up. Miguel, if I've read it right. Yeah. Perfect. Hello, Miguel. Nice All right. So what carrots does mean? We see the carrots in the logo. Is that? Well, it's a what's the game of words between carry the Internet of Things All and right. a carrot. OK. So uh, that's our logo. It's hard to see the watch from there, but you got yeah. two minutes from now in order okay, to explain here. what you do, why you do it, and why an investor should invest in you. OK, so we are a software platform uh, that we collect information from all kinds of devices. And then on the cloud, as a platform, as a service, you can build applications for many uh, type of industries. For example, we work with the uh, steel industry. We have ArcelorMittal as customer doing a lot of uh, business process made smart. And for small cities, there's a real implementation of a one product that we have. Uh, it is running on a city close to Madrid. There's 100,000 inhabitants. There are over 20,000 elements of the city uh, remotely monitored and controlled by our software. So it's a real implementation. It's already working. And there you have uh, 16 uh, street lamps controlled by our software, uh, 1,000 parking sensors for uh, open parking places that are uh, monitored by our software. Citizens have an app to see where is the parking place nearest available. Uh, the city managers have all kind of ratios uh, to see whether they should uh, put more parking places or not. Uh, plus, you have energy efficiency for buildings. Uh, you also have uh, 11 parks automatically. Uh, ir uh, you have irrigation of the park fully automated based on uh, humidity sensors from the soil, predictions from uh, the weather. And all that has been done with our platform. And we have customers from Southeast Asia, even Australia, uh, to uh, Latin America, where there's an application where we control the floods of the rivers by controlling the level of the rivers. And all that is done on the cloud with our yeah. software. Excellent. It sounds like you're in a fairly advanced stage of your company. Loads yeah. of companies yeah, don't need to have any money. Most startups need money. But you grow, you grow by yourself? Uh, yeah, we have been uh, backed up by our parent company with uh, 200 uh, employees, uh, system integrator. Okay. Uh, right now, we have five Fortune 500 uh, companies as customers already. Um, in, in many industries, steel, uh, telecoms, uh, construction. And uh, now we are in the process of uh, having a large uh, industrial company uh, take an investment in our company. But we'll still grow by row of revenues. We are in break even, so. Oh, excellent. Like so it, for you, for you the, uh, the urgent thing is not to find venture capital, but rather strategic partners that might put some money in? Is that? Well, is that the strategy? Or markets or? to grow, because mm. uh, we are based in Spain, but we have 80% uh, of our revenues from abroad. Okay. And uh, we need to deal with um, opportunities here in Germany. Or it, most of the times, uh, large customers come to our door knock and say, we have this project for large volumes of uh, connected products that uh, we have to monitor or make an application for them. And we have to give support all over the world for them. And that is a very nice challenge. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Thank and you. we're going to move to the next one, which is Avacan. OK. Uh, yeah, great. Please stay with us. No, stay with us. Stay with us. Just uh, sit here, because in general, most startups, hello. hey. Hello. Come, hello. Hi. Come on stage. <laughs> Come here. Most startups do the elevator pitches. Stand up. Great. So you can sit if you want to, but um, mm. if you want to be really convincing, you do the American <laughs> thing, right? All right. Jump up and down. All right, Marco. So uh, you're from Finland? I'm uh, from, from Dublin. I'm uh, from Ireland. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, which, which by the way, tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. So it's important ah, that everybody okay. comes to visit so for a whiskey on our stand. All right. And you better don't come on Wednesday, I assume. <laughs> 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 all right, Marco. Uh, so tell us what's two minutes. Tell us what Avacam is doing and Great. why you're cool. Thanks. So Avacam, we give eyes to the Internet of Things. We're surrounded here by today but by a load of really great companies with sensors of every conceivable type, creating these events that help us learn more about our businesses, our healthcare, and so on and so on. And at some point, there comes a time where the human needs to be involved again, where we need to be able to see what's actually going on. 
The door opened. Who's there? The product has been shipped. In what condition? Mm, uh, my, 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 my vehicle is coming off the, the manufacturing line. I want to see it. It's something, it's something I've invested in. It's something I, I care about. All of these moments are moments where we need a camera. And our business is about taking the camera industry out of the, the security mindset that it's been in for the last uh, 50 years and bringing it into the internet mindset, the mindset of sh sharing, of openness, uh, and of, of integrated systems. So anywhere where you can imagine a, a live image uh, adding value to a business process, usually that's about traceability and accountability, two really, really big, strong themes uh, today in, in business. When we think about where's our food coming from, where, where are our clothes being produced, there's nothing really as powerful as imagery to, to really show us and to, to build a connection between supplier and customer as the, the images of yeah, well, your product, the thing that you're, you're investing in. So what we're looking for is use cases and business scenarios that we can help with, uh, platforms we can integrate with, particularly interested in the IoT platforms where they're gathering all of this other data that a live image can augment and improve and make more real and more trustworthy. Thank oh, you. Great timing. Two seconds. Huh. All right. Um, well, 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 my first thought is, well, well, cameras are a bit of a commodity. Um, we've seen them integrated in all sorts of environments. Why do you need you? Yeah, yes and no. Cameras are a commodity. The, there's the, the cameras that I'm primarily talking about here are what we call security cameras, okay. but what we prefer to call business information cameras, marketing cameras, social media cameras. So it's, it's, it's that, that fixed camera that, by definition, is actually not integrated. The, these are very, very hard devices to work with. The industry is incredibly fragmented, much more so than most industries, because the business model has always been sell the hardware and give away the software which is really the reverse of the whole ethos of, of the internet, where the value has been primarily in, in like the software side of things, and the intelligence has been in the software side of things. So the, the way it works at the moment is a Panasonic camera is not compatible with a Sony camera or an Axis camera. Our software means that the, 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 you can then interact with any camera. So when SAP, for example, when they decided to integrate cameras with the SAP platform, they chose to do it with Evercam because we guaranteed that if they choose the Evercam platform, their integration will work with any CCTV camera that's on the market. And that, that, that's the special thing. Mm -hmm. how, how far have you come with this approach? How, what's the stage your company is now? How many people? Yeah, yeah, so we're an eight-person team. Uh, we've been working on this now for, well, in total for nearly four years. I've been involved in the industry, All but right. really we've been pursuing this integration agenda for about a year. Mm -hmm. Um, the SAP integration was a major milestone for us, which went live uh, a month ago. Um, we, we, considered, we measured the growth of our company in terms of the number of cameras connected and the number of apps that are available in our, in our app store. So we have about 2,000 cameras at the moment connected to the system. And there's about 20 different apps that you can augment your camera with. So you can give your camera extra functionality with yeah, any of those apps. What's the business model? Who you charge for what then? Who, who's paying for that? Right. So cameras can be connected essentially for free. Where you pay is where you start to use our resources. So where we're offering remote storage of video or computation or messaging. They're primarily the three, the three resources that we provide. The, you, the business would be very similar from a developer point of view to a company like Twilio, if you're familiar with that, for sending text messages. Uh, or, or some of the credit card payment platforms where you're paying on a sort of per use basis. Excellent. All right, you can have a seat. Thank you. And listen to your fellow startup <laughs> contestant. Hi, Michael. How is coming from a company M2M Go? That sounds quite Internet of Things. Come up, come here. Okay. Hello. Thank Thomas. You. Hi. What's your name? I'm Jens. Hello, Jens. Okay, so. two minutes away. Are you in Berlin? Yeah, we're a Berlin-based oh, startup. Right. Excellent. So, okay. So, right, hello, everybody. Welcome. Um, my name is Jens, co-founder at MTM Go. We're a Berlin-based startup and founded in 2013. Um, I want to start with um, clarify a big misunderstanding in the IoT. So, in my opinion, the Internet of Things is not about the actual things. It's about um, 
people and persons using these things, and these people need applications. So um, I think Jack Ma yesterday made a good point on this, like the IoT in the future will have different um, business cases and business models, and he talked about um, C2B, a customer to business, not business to customer. So it's much about flexibility, personalization, customizations, and the problem right now is if um, companies want to, want to build up their, their, their application layer, they have to do it in a conventional project setup, like it's a custom development. We at MTime Go think that it needs a groundbreaking new way, just like um, um, WordPress revolutionized the, the way blogs are created. So it enabled thousands of people to create blogs and websites. And exactly the same approach we are following. We have a content management system for the Internet of Things that enables companies to, to implement their application layer on their own using our integrated content management system without coding and in a, in a, in a super short time to market. And basically, that's, that's the essential. If you don't need two minutes, you just need one and a half. It's <laughs> even better yeah. than. Uh, well, well if, it, if the Internet of Things is about people connecting with things, why do you call your company M2M, not P2M? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. <laughs> so yeah. It, it, uh, it, that was easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so it, it took a long time to, to get there. It, okay. I, I, must, uh, I must confess that the, the, the first imagination was like an IoT enabled burn platform like we see on the market, like, like this. Uh, there, there's a lot of such, such stuff. And just over time and a lot of speaking with uh, customers and, and with market, market um, and parties, we realized that another IoT enabled burn platform is just not enough to, to unleash the real power of the Internet of Things. So, and that's why we came to the point that we, that we um, um, concentrated on this application layer with our content management system. Okay. And now it's just um, to now rename our company. Now you got the name. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, well, we all know it's hard to change yeah, names. Yeah. So, well. We have a good, we have a good um, like, Google is good to ask with, with that name because and then it, it, it's, it's, it's a good searching word and so we, we, we keep it. Uh, okay, the and then you have a story to put on top of it. Uh, and exactly, so, so exactly, forth. Exactly. So what's the stage you're coming in? Are you having an investment? Has the Sambas already called you and stopped by? Yes, so, yeah. Um, we're looking for, uh, we, we are in, 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 in a negotiation with uh, investment. We hope we're closing our seed funding in the, in the next few months. Early stage uh, investors, uh, early stage ventures or? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's really the first time. Right now we have like fr friends and, and family, so we're doing bootstrapping, a lot of like uh, uh, some project nearby. So now we want to just focus and, and want to, to enter the market um, because now we, we finished our production state version and we are, we are looking also for partners doing um, implementing the first verticals because now we have like a generic base set to implement just um, different verticals we can, and we're looking for partners. Mm. And um, wh how much money are you looking into? Is that you open to anything? How much you need? What would an investor get for it? It depends. So, so right now we're just um, looking for 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 proof of concept around like like one and a half year, two years. So we need about uh, four hundred to five hundred thousand mm -hmm. just to just to get a first real customer. And then and then after that we need a next. We would we're planning to do a next round just to just to to, to make it growth. Mm -hmm. All right, have a seat and Thank we'll have you. a chat. Please please sit there and I go over here. So um, I mean I, I'm sure you've already had chats before. What, what combines your three startups? What do you have in common? What do you think? What, what I see there as, as one element is most of the IoT companies, they're, they're providing all of this new, new data. Um, and to speak just about our company, I, where I think we, we fit in is that interface then where you actually need to, to see the event. Mm -hmm. So we're not so much about the, the intelligence or the metadata. I think that's typically coming from the other IoT guys. Mm -hmm. We're about the seeing it. So I, I see us as sort of completing the circle. All right. For How would you describe the reasons why the three of you are on one stage? Yeah, maybe, maybe if, if I can answer it. The first thing we all have in common is like we have cloud-based solutions. So we, we are away from this um, installing and retail business and we're moving to, to a service business. So we want to, to build up with our customers. We want to help the customers um, develop their, their new emerging um, IoT business cases. And we just or we chart in that moment that their business um, 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 go up. And, and that, is, that is maybe the, the, the mind shifting step in the, in the IoT. The, the, it's hard for, for many companies to, to make this step. But I think that is, we, that, that is the point we all have in common. 
Mm. Well, I think it's a new way of thinking uh, because when I'm uh, in my company, when we receive a call from a company that is doing connected products, uh, it happens that they already had a solution that they had done uh, internally uh, that perhaps it doesn't scale beyond 50,000 devices and they're looking for what's out there in the market. Uh, I think now there are different ISVs uh, for different sectors, doesn't matter if uh, it's on the webcams or we that we focus more on the industry or small cities, but we uh, are more focusing on a new way of thinking about, okay, you have things, you have the internet or the cloud, and uh, you have new possibilities to scale uh, to reach those 50 billions of de connected devices that uh, everyone is thinking about. Because uh, uh, right now the big companies, even very large companies, are really having struggles to go beyond the 50,000 limits of uh, connected products. And definitely uh, you have to cut out uh, the old technology and replace it with new ways of, of building software. And uh, I think uh, we might share those ideas on how to build uh, products that really scale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think you, you could also say that we're all infrastructural companies that are enabling innovation. And we're sort of, you know, we're on stage here now as innovators ourselves, but really the success of our businesses depend on other people building things using what we enable them to build. I think that's true also for yeah. uh, mm -hmm. the other business models. In what ca context did you come up with your ideas? I mean, obviously you fit right now into a trend that is attractive and a lot of senses and everybody's talking about the Internet of Things and so forth, but that probably hasn't been the case a couple of years ago when you founded it, right? Well, for, for my company right now, for Carriots, uh, Internet of Things is a reality. There are over 100,000 uh, 100, devices connected to the platform. Uh, there are many different applications. Uh, a lot of them, we don't know about it because it's uh, our uh, customers that develop them. Uh, we are not aware of what they do with our platform. Uh, in some cases, we are more uh, uh, in relationship with those customers and we, we get more insights about the products. Uh, but definitely, I think the Internet of Things is really happening. Uh, Perhaps it had an old name of uh, machine to machine. Now it's evolving into the Internet of Things. Uh, but it's gaining momentum every year. So uh, we are right now in a phase of uh, our, our company is growing uh, revenues by 10 times a year. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is huge. Uh, so, so was that good luck and timing? Or was that strategic, the result of strategic thinking? You've seen a, a, a niche market that had the ability to grow. Uh, extremely? Or? Well, you see, with all the problems that we, ha uh, that we face at this stage of technology, where there are no protocols to interact with things, there are uh, many uh, niche markets that have to grow, uh, many flavors of platforms, and even with that issues, uh, we can still grow. So uh, definitely that is an indicator that the IoT is the next revolution of IT in the whole world. Because uh, some of our customers are very like a beer industry. Uh, they never had IT uh, beyond their desktops for CRM or something like that. And IoT is the way they are introducing IT into their business in, in, in real uh, strong force. So I think it's really uh, making a, a big revolution. And uh, I think the timing right now is when it's getting a lot of really big traction. Uh, so definitely this market for everyone. I think it's uh, the perfect definition of a blue ocean. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do oh, you feel part of a movement? Do you caught the, the, the wave early? Or? Okay. The, for me, it's more like, um, like I came to this idea more by accident. So I started my career at, at Siemens Wireless Motius and it's doing like this M2M um, um, core business, like communicating over the GSM network. I then um, go to like enterprises and ERP systems and interfacing and uh, the, the last uh, web, web technology. And an old student fellow came to me and said, okay, we're still producing these M2M modules and we need a way to easily create demonstrators to, to, to demonstrate the capabilities of these devices. And we find no solution that provides us that way. We all, every time we have to set up an expensive um, um, a project. And that was the, the, initial, the, initial, um, um, the initial thing where I said, okay, let's do it. We had some background in, the, in, this, in this content management and said, it's, it's not that difficult, okay, but it was that, that, that difficult, but and then, we just um, realized, okay, 
there are a lot of small and medium-sized companies that, that just don't have the resources to, to, to go to, to another company, to IBM, and said, okay, I have this idea in mind, and maybe there are 4,000 um, devices. Let's make a project which costs like 50,000, 40,000 euros or something like that. Mm -hmm. And that was, the, that was the, okay, I think. There's, I think the movement is just the beginning because now the problem is always to, to find a real business case or to, to, to calculate a business case. That's really, really hard because there are a lot of hardware manufacturers just have um, um, question marks mm -hmm. if, if they think about this. <coughs> and so we, I think the, the, the economy just um, starts to think in the, in the right way and, and need for partnerships. Marco, what was the moment that sparked? Uh -huh. <laughs> let, uh, let, let you the decision to, yeah, to found your company. My, my story is very sad, really. Oh, mm. We don't want to hear that at the end of the day. <laughs> I, I was can, can you make it funny at least <laughs> at some point? I was enjoying a, a five-year holiday in Berlin after selling my previous I internet startup. Okay. And th those of you who know Berlin might know the Prinzessinnengarten, yeah. this, this social gardening project where they're teaching children where tomato ketchup and pomace come from. And I started to make a, a time-lapse movie of the project because I wanted to give it as a gift to the guys, uh, Marco and Robert, who, who were setting it up to show over the seasons the, the garden changing. And in the process of doing it, I, I, I just I continued to struggle with this camera technology that was there. And I guess it just bugged me so much that I ended up starting another company to go and solve those problems. That was which, a really, really, really sad Which story. took me out of my holiday. <laughs> <laughs> that's the sad bit. OK, that's so hard. So well, um, yeah, we'll give him a lot of pity. But you could also give him the social vote, because there are two, co uh, there are two prizes, two awards um, in the code end. One of them is, the, well, the, the, the regular award, uh, which is uh, awarded by your jury. and. Um, uh, I think it's um, linked to uh, 30,000 euros. The other one, the social voting, is uh, sponsored by EY, and uh, the company who's, who will win that has the advantage to be sent for a boot camp to, uh, to the Valley. Where else? All right. Thank you a lot for being here. You've Great. been our last appearance on stage, which means we turn into another sad story that this da uh, day on this um, stage we're going to end now. Thank you very much. Good luck. And if you, you have any questions to them, please visit them and their booths. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thomas. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Gerne. Cheers. So, all right. I think that's it. <laughs>